Hello friends, welcome to another episode here on the channel. For all of you that are new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with our Series 7 VGC 2020 or 2021 content uh, with rocking a new team on the double ranked ladder. So we'll be featuring this team on the screen right now. It features Thunderous Incarnate, Form, Garchomp, Tapu Fini, Urshifu, Metagross, and Incineroar. So this is the team centered around the Garchomp. Really, that's what our starting point was. Uh, we had a request earlier in the week, so shout out to you for the Garchomp suggestion. And here it is. Garchomp, one of my favorite Pokemon as well. And we're playing it with a nice pair with the Thunderous Incarnate form, the Defiant Thunderous, because it really plays nicely into that Defiant ability, kind of puts off pausing pokemon with intimidate kind of coming on the field and you can kind of punish with that as well obviously the lead does have quite a bit of an issue with ice threats so we've got to kind of pad that out in the rest of the team which i feel like we've done i'll get into the details of how the kind of team functions it's pretty easy to pilot and i think it's pretty decent as well we've had a few games with it off camera before coming into this there is a poker piss down in the description with all the details if you want to grab that and there will be don't forget a rental team at the end of the episode if you want to try this team out for yourselves take it away and have a little bit of fun with it it's a it's a nice team honestly we'll get into it hopefully we can uh, showcase some good battles with it today show what it's capable of and remind you all how much Garchomp is not a Pokemon to forget about, even though Landorus is, is in the format and it's always difficult for Garchomp when Landorus kind of rocks up. Just a little update as well with content on the channel, obviously with things I've had going on with work and then other projects going on this week, not really being able to get content out as much as I wanted, new teams and things like that. And uh, that should be back to normal next week and also streams as well. We'll be streaming next week and I will be dipping into youtube streaming as well but on monday next week we're gonna be we're gonna be um, that will be monday what the 23rd of november we're gonna be kicking off the stream schedule again over there 8 p.m so the link is down in the description it'd be great to see you over there but yes youtube streams will be coming will be coming we're gonna be doing that anyway we got a uh, first opponent up playing a team of metagross excadrill tornadus cartana nyligo and entai so we got tailwind and trick room options on my opponent's team tailwind with the tornadus have to be very careful with that because it could have the brutal swing to kind of pair in with the metagross proper weakness policy after the speed controller and you got the nine ego which is kind of obviously got trick room if it's more beneficial for my opponent's team although not really anything that kind of plays well in trick room uh, if if we're completely honest about it so what are we gonna do here how are we gonna approach this i mean shh. fake out's pretty nice to prevent the tornadoes turn one hundred percent but what do we play with that um hmm. Like Tornadus, uh, Thunderous is obviously the, the obvious pick. I think Garchomp's really nice here and probably our own Metagross as well. Okay, let's go for that. See how we get on in this first one. Let's see if we can get some goodies with Thunderous here. It's going to be difficult against the, the Tailwind stuff. But maybe if we get an Airstream off turn one. Thunderous will still have speed Metagross turn 2, but we won't be able to prevent. Uh, maybe we prevent. Uh, no, we're not going to see that anyway. So we just see Nihiligo and Entai. Okay, well, this isn't what I expected, but this, is, this isn't this is half as bad as what I thought it could be. So, kind of want, I want to get Garchomp onto the field. If I'm like completely honest, Garchomp would be incredibly good here. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go for... Mm -hmm. They're probably going to go for the Meteor Beam into Incineroar. So, is it better to get Garchomp in on that slot? I think it probably is. Like, I could bring Metagross in there, but I think Garchomp well, it makes more sense. And we'll just protect Thunderous. Yeah. It's just if we bring in Metagross, we're kind of... We're, we're a little bit, well, we're very threatened by the Entai the next turn, so we don't really want to bring Metagross in who can't really threaten or uh, pressure that Nihiligo. Um, which is why the Garchomp works a little bit better. Because it outspeeds the Entai at the end of the day. We can pressure both. Okay, Nihiligo going to come in and go straight for the, um, the Dynamax. 
and we'll protect under us and probably either take I I'd imagine you go after the incinero here though be my best bet okay anti gonna protect revealing it's not a salt vest which is good information in the max rock for coming out into cha okay send rest taking it that's kind of fine uh I don't mind that too much I guess I guess because we could potentially just superpower earthquake here superpower earthquake or we could like yeah like we could just earthquake and go a wild charge hmm or we go max fly into Entai and Earthquake. I feel like Nihiligo is going to protect. It may not though. It may not. It feels like it could be a bit of a waste. We could just go Wild Charge into Entai and Earthquake. It just would be nice to have the speed advantage with Garchomp. For everything. Hmm. And I feel like the Nihiligo could protect here. So we could kind of... It feels like a waste of a Dynamax first if this doesn't pay off. Because if the, the Nihiligo doesn't max guard here, which I'm kind of hoping it does. Because a combination of max airstream and earthquake from Garchomp should remove the Entai from the field 100%. And I'm feeling like, hopefully, the Nihiligo feels super threatened here. So Garchomp coming onto the field so it wants to protect. There we go, we get it, we call it. There we go. And hopefully this does the biz. Oh, I mean that's what that that is beautiful. Beautiful. We love to see that sort of damage. Thunderous never let me down. Never let me down since black and white. <laughs> Neither of you got chump, even though you're not a black and white Pokemon. Okay, this is this is perfect for us. Um, yeah, and we're in a, a super nice position this next turn because we've got... Although, we do need to consider that the, the Tornadus is still in the back and could come in and cause us all sorts of problems with the Tailwind. And that's the most likely thing I think my opponent's probably... ...going to do. Oh, it's Cortana. Okay. Ah, that's, that's way better for us. I mean, that's so good for us because we just... ...just got Earthquake and we just got Max Knuckle. And we get plus one. Yeah, I mean this this feels like like a max knuckle and an earthquake. What's more threatening to us like like really? Is it is a carton? Like I feel like the carton is probably the, the most threatening thing to us. Because we could double the carton. Nah nah nah. We've got Incineroar on the back. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're gonna go for the knuckle. We got Incineroar on the back to come in help us with Cartana, so we're gonna go for the this this. And then Garchomp still outspeeds Cartana, so it's it's super fine. Put Garchomp on a plus one. Sure, a plus one, plush, plush, plushy, plus one Earthquake is going to get the Nihiligo and do some good damage to Cartana. Yeah, there we go. Cartana's, Cartana's done next turn, so that's fine. Um, we'll probably see a Leaf Blade into Garchomp. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, there we go. There it is. That's all right, though. Eat those. We'll eat those for days, Cartana. You throw those out at us. Still need to worry about the Tornadoes. I'm surprised my opponent hasn't brought it, to be honest. Like, the speed control that it provides, especially against us, is kind of nice. Like, it's the one thing that we need to be super prepared for. That's Excadrill. There we go. There's your boy. Coming out with the Sandstormer. Um, ah gonna outspeed us hmm okay well I, I still think we take this opportunity to uh, what have we got in the back actually we got we've got Metagross and mm, hmm, hmm. depends what the extra wants to do I feel like you will go after the I feel like you go after the the uh, the Garchomp I'm gonna go Max Knuckle again. I'm gonna go Max Knuckle and Earthquake into the Excadrill. Okay. It appears to be Mold Breaker. And that's that. That is that. Okay, well. That's fine. That works out alright. I like the combination though. If you're going most of the time, it's kind of nice to have 
If you go most of the time with Nile Eagle, you're going to max it. You're going to guarantee that you probably get the, Mac, the, the Sandstorm up. So it's, it kind of plays nicely into the the idea of having something like Excadrill with, with Sandrush in the back. You could even go with something like Draco Vish or Draco Zol, you know? Kind of interesting, interesting options. Anyway, good game to my opponent. And we will swiftly move on to our next game before uh, we throw up that rental code. Just reminding you all and um, whoever that is for the follow on Twitch. Thank you so much. You must have heard us saying that we'll be back on Twitch next week, which we will. Just a reminder, we're going to be streaming uh, next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like the, the schedule is free next week, so we're good to do it. I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to catching up with a lot of you. As it has been a while, just a lot's been going on recently, but we can uh, we can catch up on Crown Tundra, Series 7, all that sort of stuff, all those goodies. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. going to be fun if you're around. Okay, we got Jay. Jahaimi. I don't know. Yeah, Jamie. Jamie. Feels like that's spelt wrong for Jamie. I mean, it's obviously a name. Um, anyway, getting into this one. We got Cortana, Rotom Heat, Dragapult, Tapu Fini, Tyranitar, and Lander Asterion. Um, all right, what are we doing here? I mean, <laughs> Thunderous again feels really quite good here. Um, be a little bit careful around the Dragapult, but I mean, what's Dragapult really doing? What is Dragapult doing here, actually? I don't really know what my opponent's kind of goals are here. The speed control feels very flimsy. I mean, Max Airstream on Landorus makes a lot of sense. An Assault Vest there, probably Weakness Policy, T-Tar. Um, Pult obviously helps check against stuff like Metagross. Kind of tempted to lead Urshifu. Thunderous here. It feels like a nice lead against this team. Helps check the Dragapult as well. Uh, we'll bring Incineroar because I think the... We'll definitely bring Garchomp. 100%. And I think we'll bring the yeah, Incineroar as well because the Intimidate's going to be really useful. There's quite... Yeah, the Fake Out's going to be useful. And yeah, we're going to have to be careful because if they bring Tapu Fini, it... it we don't want to lose Thunderous really early on, like carelessly, because the, uh, the probability is that there will be a Tapu Fini and it will be in the back for my opponent. And I'm so sorry how I, if I butchered the pronunciation of your name, of my opponent, by the way. But we know, we know we've got, I've got the track record to back it up. I'm not that great with, uh, with names. Okay, must be the dyslexia. Anyway, Dragapult Rotom. Um, hmm. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not it's not ideal for us because I kind of want to wicked blow the, the Rotom, but I don't want to take a max airstream from the Dragapult. Are they gonna max airstream Dragapult? They probably do. We could sucker punch Dragapult, but it, but if it's weakness policy, then we're in trouble. Um, okay, I think we could max, we could definitely max Airstream, Dragapult, and go Sucker Punch as well. It covers it, covers it, covers it, covers it, covers it. It's gonna be, uh, is that the Rotom? It's a Rot? Nah, I can't make, that's never Rotom. But a Dragapult and a Pokeball? I'm surprised. It's a waste of. Waste of good Dragapult, especially a shiny one, in a Pokeball. I'm not criticizing, but kind of am. Well, if we get the Sucker Punch off and we proc a weakness policy, this could be one of the quickest games in history because I feel like it's going to go down very... Well, <clears throat> it depends, it depends, because they, they kind of have to target the Urshifu, really, with the Dragapult. Have to. Just because of the threat, it's too big of an, a, a too big of a threat, and we do some fat damage. See that airstream? There we go. That's what we like to see. Urshifu, you've done your job, my boy. You have done the job we need. So, <clears throat> Rotom probably going to outspeed us. Probably go for a nasty plot because it's just like that, and we'll be able to take down Dragapult, which is, which is, oh, okay. Rotom slow, bulky. 
good indicator for going forward. We get our airstream off as well. Uh, we'll probably still see a nasty plot. Oh, we could see a will-o'-wisp. A will-o'-wisp would be a beautiful play right now by my opponent to really slow down Thunderous. Please don't be will-o'-wisp. Please don't be will-o'-wisp. It's going to be. Okay, it's Thunderbolt. That's fine. I, Yeah, we'll take that every day. Every day, every day, every day. Um, yeah, let's bring Garchomp in. Let's bring Garchomp in. Altana. Okay. This is fine. Um, hmm. Yeah, because we can go Max Knuckle. Max Knuckle and Rock Slide. And then we use Max Airstream and Rock Slide. That may be better. Max Airstream, eh? For, yeah, Max Airstream. Yeah, let's do that, right? Max Airstream, Rock Slide. That feels like it's going to do... Because that should do, like the, the airstream will do enough to Cartana, like not to put it in range of, uh, um, I wouldn't have thought airstream's going to do enough to pick up the knockout onto it. I kind of suspect it's sashed, but it, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but, yeah, the, the rock slide's not going to do enough, but there is always the opportunity, Garchomp is like the... the an absolute monster when it comes to flinching things with rock slides so you never know what's going to happen you just got to check the rocks and see obviously when you miss never good but we can we can still flinch the rotten the cartana is in a really bad spot for next turn leaf blade coming out and yeah that's fine that's super fine okay now we're in a decent spot because we'll see ah, and there's a flinch i'll tell you when we hit <laughs> it happens okay we'll go for the max knuckle into the rotom and we go for another rock slide hopefully we don't miss the cartana this time um and the plus one rock slide even though cartana resists it and even though it's super defensive the rock slide from a plus one guard trump should take it down from this range and it should like the combination definitely will deal with the rotom so i think we're going to be able to wrap this one up Pretty quickly. Pretty, I think so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But it's been... It's still not over by any means. Okay, there's the protect from the Rotom. I mean, we get the max knuckle off, which is the biggest thing. Make the most of our Dynamax turns. Um, Which is good. We got you here. Going to be able to just rock slide. Thunderous is just such a good Pokemon. Like, and I really feel like the synergy with Garchomp's really nice. Obviously, we would have good synergy with Landorus as well, but I feel like that the the thing that Garchomp gives you is that Dragon type in which Landorus misses slightly because obviously things like Rotom, if they get a nasty plot up, they can still hurt Landorus pretty pretty well with things like Overheat. Whereas it's not really the case with with Garchomp. Like uh, Garchomp will just laugh at things like like rotom honestly there's the defiant so we've got that and that puts us to plus two so that's that's pretty nice um and garchomp neutral so we're all we're okay we're okay okay uh, i think we go for a fly into landorus and we go for a rock slide do we go for a rock slide or do we go for I mean, it might be better, you know, it might be better to bring in something like Incineroar now for Garchomp. And then, because we get the fly, we can we can fake out the Rotom in the next turn, prevent any damage when the Tornadoes come down. Ah, uh, but it's fine, it's over, it's over. My opponent didn't even want to play it out, so. Oh, we, we actually, what? Oh my god. Are you kidding? We actually got kicked offline. My internet. We, we didn't even get kicked offline. How does this even work? We're still online. What happened? Okay. That's super weird. I'm going to take that as a win because we definitely would have won that 100%. Anyway, we're going to get to rental teams. Sad that I couldn't actually finish that one. And our points have been stolen from us. Whoever that was, good game. Unless you caused that. And then <laughs> and then the tables turn. It's not such a good game. Um, but we want to manage teams to share. So we're going to have to take something down from uh, that we've had up while a while uh, so this one's been up a while so we'll take this one down uh don't make it public this is one of the first ones that we put up so yeah these teams will be kind of cycling out for new ones in the coming weeks so look out for those friends um and we'll make this 
Juicy, Thunderous, and Garchomp team available for all you fine people to use. And here is the rental team. And it's done thinking about it. I've never had that sort of error before. I never had that sort of error. I like, I don't know what, it like completely just booted us off the game. Like I didn't even see an error message. So that seemed a bit strange. If any of you had similar experience, let me know. Um, The name's a bit weird. But I haven't changed the name in the team box, so we're just going with rocks. Uh, there is a team. Have fun with it if you try it. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been a lot of fun. I really appreciate you coming out watching this. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a subscription. If well, like a, a sub subscription sounds really formal. Think about subbing to the channel if you've enjoyed today's video and you are new. And if you have enjoyed it, do drop a like. It does really help the videos out. And um, leave those comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the team, on Garchomp. And any suggestions you've got for future teams and stuff that you want to see. But we'll wrap it up there, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in as always. Um, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.